Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad for another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 4, chapter 12, lesson 2 Metric Units of Capacity. Page number is 781. Okay, guys. Capacity means that the amount of a liquid a container can hold is its capacity. Like how much something can hold in it. What is its capacity to hold? Okay, we will measure liquids today. And to measure liquid things, we have two units, liter and milliliter. The short form for liter is capital L and the short form for milliliter is small m and capital L. Now, a milliliter is a small unit. It's like an eyedropper holds about one milliliter. Like this eyedropper, this much amount of liquid, you can see very few uh, drops only. That is just one milliliter. And a liter is a big unit you can see that this full bottle of liquid is one liter and one liter is equal to 1000 milliliters it means what you need 1000 eyedroppers to fill this bottle so if we are converting from liters to milliliters we will multiply by 1000 and if we are converting from milliliters to liters from smaller unit to bigger unit, we will divide by 1000. Okay, let's start the lesson now. What do you think, guys, this cup, this mug? Is it 300 milliliters or 300 liters? Keep this thing in mind that milliliter is this much only. And liter is big, like a full bottle. So 300 liter means 300 bottles, huge. And 300 milliliters like 300 eyedroppers so you can fill this one so the reasonable estimate for this mug is 300 milliliters okay now this pool if we say 600 milliliters it's not enough to fill one bottle even not enough to fill this bottle even 600 milliliters because this bottle even get filled with 1000 eyedroppers, 1000 milliliters. So 600 milliliter will be very less for this pool. So the reasonable estimate for this pool is 600 liters. Circle the more reasonable estimate for this bottle, of course, not one milliliter, not just an eyedropper, one liter. For this sink, 38 liters. Uh, for this liquid uh, soap, of course, not 220 liters, 220 bottles, 220 milliliters. Okay. And guys, similarly, you have to uh, circle the more reasonable estimate for each capacity from the given options, like this uh, water balloon, 100 milliliter only because 150 liter means 150 bottles huge uh, this is 120 milliliter then this mouthwash 500 milliliters only this one can be 30 liters this one not one milliliter one liter and 700 milliliters here you have to create a table write the name of the objects you can choose uh, from these six okay here and in this one, give me one object which is more than one liter, one which is equal to one liter, and one which is less than one liter. Like more than one liter, you can say uh, this one. Equal to one liter, you can say this one. And less than one liter, remaining all three are less than one liter. Okay, next one now here. Gina said that she took four milliliters of medicine when she was sick. Is this a reasonable estimate? Yes, four milliliters. It's reasonable. Normally we took this much amount of we take this much amount of medicine. 
Jonah said he drank three liters of water, three complete bottles, which means around 12 glasses. It's not possible for a person to drink uh, at one time. So no, his estimate is wrong, three liters. Maybe he's talking about 300 milliliters or, or maximum one liter, you can say. Okay, uh, leave this question 13. Okay, this question 14 is very interesting. Suppose you have a 4 liter bucket and a 7 liter bucket. You need 5 liters of water for an aquarium. Explain how to get 5 liters of water if neither bucket is marked. Like you have one 4 liter bucket and the other one 7 liter bucket. Now, how you will measure? 5 liter of water with these two buckets so what you will do guys first fill the 4 liter bucket you'll fill the 4 liter bucket okay and then pour it into 7 liter so how many liters left in this one when you put 4 liter in this bucket 3 liters left in this one now again you fill the 4 liter bucket and put it in this 7 liter bucket how much water will come in it 3 liters and remaining how much left in this one 4 liter 1 liter only so you have 1 liter now in the 4 liter bucket now you will empty the 7 liter bucket and pour the remaining 1 liter from the 4 liter bucket then fill the 4 liter bucket one more time and put it in the 7 liter bucket now you have 5 liter of water 5 liters of water in the 7 liter bucket and here is some explanation guys i hope you guys understand the lesson if you really understand guys don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel learn math with mr Saad, and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video thank you so much guys have a nice day